Another feature useful for your composition is a new feature in Sibelius 6 called the versions feature. You can use versions in a number of different ways. One of the great things about versions is that you can actually add sticky notes into your score. So if you're working, say, on this score and you want to add a comment, highlight it first, click the comment, and you'll see it automatically comes up with the instruments that you've highlighted. Make a note to yourself, whatever it might be. What is this? If you haven't worked out what your tonality is, and it's marked with the name that you've logged in on as, and you're, the teacher can add comments too, so it would uh, you'd see the teacher's comments. Now, when you've finished working on your score, you can create a version. Now, if you've been working on your score for long enough, Sibelius will automatically prompt this. This means a new version of the score, so you can see what you did today. And you can add your own comments. Today, I add a comment. Uh, that's just the stuff I'm adding. Click OK. Close that down. Now, up in the menu, you'll see that you're working on the current version, but you've now actually got, in this case, four older versions. And you can click on the one that you started at right at the start. And if you click on it, it'll jump back in time and look at the score. You can't make any changes uh, to that score, but you can actually go and grab stuff in there. You can copy and paste between different versions. So if there's something that you deleted from a version, let's look at the second version. You can find something that uh, you currently don't have. Uh, let's say you want those things back. Select them, copy them by going Control or Command C, go back to the current version and paste them in, Control C or Control V. So if you end up deleting something out and realize it was a terrible mistake, you can go back and grab it. The other thing you can do is look at this button here, and it allows you to go through the different versions, see previews, see what you wrote about each one, uh, like a creative diary, if you like. And uh, you can keep a journal of how you're doing with the composition right inside the Sibelius file itself. Another thing that's very useful as well with versions is that you can use this feature over here, and it's called the compare feature, where you can compare between two different versions. Let's say you imagine that you'd forgotten to do something between two versions, you can actually compare version 3 with version 4, set it going, it'll tell you what you did differently, and it'll give you a list of all of those things. Sibelius comes up with a little report, and in fact you can actually even see that as notation if you like. So there's a list of the things that change between the versions, and uh, you can really see your work in progress uh, with an explanation of what uh, had been done, and Sibelius will work that out for you. Very, very useful indeed, because compositions go through many different stages in their development. So, please use that feature, it's great.